What's going on guys, Yo Jay Collect back at it again with another Funko Pop unboxing video. Today I've got five Chrono Toys Weekly Challenger boxes. These are the 1099 boxes. And we also got a pickup from Spastic Collectibles Pop Drop that they do every Saturday. Shout out to Curtis over at Spastic Collectibles. We're gonna get into all this and more right after this. What's going on guys? It's your boy Yojek Collects. Back at it again. Today we're going to be opening up five Chrono Toys Weekly Challenger boxes. And I also have a pickup from Curtis over at SpasticCollectibles.com. A uh, very awesome website. If you guys do not shop over at Spastic Collectibles, I don't know what you guys are doing. Link in the description below. Go check out Spastic Collectibles. Get all of your Funko Pops, Fig Pins, Designer Vinyls, Pre-Orders so much more go check out spastic collectibles i'm excited to get into this and these mystery boxes but before we get into any of this if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button down below it really helps me a lot and ding the notification bell to be notified when i drop new content we go live from time to time over here on this channel and sooner or later we're going to be doing a weekly live stream it'll be like a weekly recap of what new has came out, uh, what, what Funko's bringing out, what other designer vinyl toys have dropped, or what's upcoming. You know, just a weekly recap of what's happened that week, and we'll do some giveaways and just have fun. So, first I want to get into this Spastic Collectibles pickup. Um, this is going to go very nice in my horror collection because it's technically a comedy slash a horror film you'll see once i get it cracked open there's the spastic collectibles sticker there's the spastic collectibles sticker shout out to curtis all right guys get this out of the bubble wrap so you can't see because i'm pumped to finally add this to the collection i've got the other one that goes with it don't have the full set yet but oh it's still got the uh wrapping on the uh, pop protector but we've got from the movie Shaun of the Dead we've got the Entertainment Earth exclusive Shaun bloody version and the reason I picked this up is because I have the other one that goes with this one which is the Ed boom so now I've got both I've got both entertainment exclusives I've got Ed and Sean from Shaun of the Dead, a very funny movie if you have not seen it. If you're a fan of horror and comedy movies, make sure to go check out Shaun of the Dead and all of the other movies that Simon Pegg has done. I was a little late to the pop drop and was surprised to see that this was still up there for a very good price. So there is the Spastic Collectibles pickup. Sean from Shaun of the Dead goes well with Ed. I'm still looking for the Zombie Ed and the two common variants of these Funko Pops. So, now let's get into these Chrono Toys mystery boxes. I'm just going to crack them open one at a time. Boom! Five Chrono Toys weekly Challenger boxes. These are $10.99 plus shipping. So we'll just grab one and crack into it. This is probably going to be a quick video. Hopefully we pull something good. I've uh, been getting hosed recently by Chrono. We'll see if I don't do good on these boxes. I've got another five that actually just shipped today. Um, might not order from them again for a while if we don't do too good on this. Alright, so pop one is out. Alright, let's see. No sticker. Pop one from the Chrono Toys Weekly Challenger boxes is three, two, and one. Okay, that's cool. That's going to be a keeper for the collection because I actually don't have this pop. That is the Gremlin Funko Pop from the movie Gremlins. Very cool. It is a reprint, came back out in 2000, but still got the old looking box. It doesn't have the face on the bottom like the original one. As you can see, it says year 2000 on the bottom. Let me check the value on this real quick. The Gremlin Pop is coming in 
at nine dollars. Okay, ten ninety nine. Lost a dollar or two. Set the gremlin over here to the side, and we will get into the next box. Come on, Pop Gods. Box number two from Chrono Toys. Let's hope we get something good. All right, pop number two. Let's get it out of the bow wrap. Feel for a sticker. I do not feel a sticker. Pop number two in three, two, and one. Okay, we've got Saitama from One Punch Man. I think this is from the New Wave. Yes, it is. I see Garu on the back, Saitama, and Terrible Tornado. I tell you what, that Terrible Tornado chase is a really cool chase. <clears throat> so it just looks like him in his street clothes. I've seen a few episodes of One Punch Man. Uh, not really a big fan of it. So this will be going up for sale or for trade. There is Saitama. Let's look up the value for him. Like I said, probably a new common. Probably doesn't have a value. Probably just $10, we'll say. But let's see if it comes in. Insufficient data, trending value. Let's just say Saitama's coming in at $10. So we are currently at $19. Box number three from the Chrono Toys Weekly Challenger boxes. Hope for something good. This is a little heavier than those two, so maybe we got something in a protector. Highly doubt it, but maybe. You never know, fingers crossed. Box number three from Chrono Toys. Do we have a sticker? We do have a sticker, and it is a special edition sticker. I don't know, maybe we got something good. In three, two, and one. Oh, nice. Okay, I don't have this, so there's another keeper. Pink Chrome Majin Buu. <clears throat> Not really into the Chrome, I love Dragon Ball Z. Out of the frame is a whole shelf of Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops. Um, I don't have this yet, but we got a special edition Pink Chrome Majin Buu. I think he was exclusive to FYE. So what we're gonna do is scan him in and see what the Pink Chrome Majin Buu is coming in at. Pink Chrome Majin Buu is coming in at $32. Hmm. All right, not bad. There's another keeper for the collection. So far we're keeping Gremlins and the Pink Chrome Majin Buu. Fourth, Chrono Toys Weekly Challenger Boxes. <clears throat> While we're cracking into this, let me know down in the comments, is there some good, besides Toy USA, Chrono Toys, Chalice, uh, Stop, Pop, and Roll, what are some good um, mystery box companies that you like to get mystery boxes from? I'm always open for, you know, to try out new companies. Uh, so definitely let me know in the comments below uh, what are some of your favorite mystery box companies. And I might check them out. I'd like to make some new content from different companies for you guys. Alright, fourth pop from the Chrono Toys Weekly Challenger boxes. Window feels kind of smashed in on it. Doesn't feel, I don't feel a sticker. Alright, fourth pop from the Chrono Toys Weekly Challenger boxes in three, two, and one. What is this? Loot and Navaru from Monster Hunter Stories. Loot and Navaru from Monster Hunter Stories is our fourth pop from the Chrono Toys Weekly Challenger boxes. I doubt that this has a value on it either, but because this pop just came out too, I remember that they just. Uh, we're talking about releasing these pops a few weeks back. Insufficient data for trending value. So we're gonna mark that at $10 common. So far we are at a total of $61 so far. One more pop to go, one more pop to go. Yeah guys, don't forget, leave in the comments below, do you buy from Chrono Toys? What do you think about their 10.99 weekly challenger boxes? I did pretty good for a while on them. <clears throat> like I used to get five for five on sticker pops and then it seems like after COVID and stuff I you know the boxes started getting crummier and crummier but I actually had a chance to go check out the Chrono Toys store and the staff is awesome and the store is pretty cool so uh, nothing but good things to say about Chrono uh, 
All right, so the last and final weekly Challenger box from Chrono Toys. No protector. We do have a sticker. Feels like a square sticker. Maybe a chalice or basketball or something. I don't know. Might be totally wrong. Might be a Star Wars pop. All right, in three, two, and one. Oh, nice. Sweet. Fairy Tale Final Season Ethereus Natsu Dragneel. That is a AAA anime exclusive. I will. This is a fairly new release as well. Let me look on the Funko app and see what Natsu is coming in at. Insufficient data for trending value. Chrono Toys actually has this pop for pre order, uh, or you can actually buy it now. So, um,. Let me see what they've got it priced at on their shop. All right, it is a $17.99 pop. Uh, let's just say $20 for Natsu. This is a very cool pop. So we didn't do too bad on these boxes. 62, 61 plus uh, 20. So we got $81 in value back off of five boxes, $10.99 a piece, roughly. Made a little bit. Uh, actually probably covered cost with shipping. So out of the five mystery boxes, these three are the favorites that I pulled. Pinkro Majin Buu, Natsu, and the Gremlin. These two I will not be keeping. Uh, if anybody's interested in these two pops, please hit me up. Or they will be going in for trade out at McKay's. Uh, but I'm very stoked to have finally added the Bloody Sean to the set to complete the duo. Sean and Ed Bloody Duo. But yeah. Guys, don't forget to leave down in the comments what are some of your favorite mystery box companies to purchase from besides the main companies. I'm talking, do you know any Instagrammers that do awesome mystery boxes? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to check them out and, you know, open up some of their boxes on the channel. So guys, I hope you had a wonderful time watching the video. Please Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to ding the notification bell to be notified when I drop new content. And once again, I hope you have a great day, guys. Peace out. Thanks for stopping by to watch the video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ding the notification bell to be notified when I go live and drop new videos. Have a great day. Peace.